Hey guys, it's me, Kill Charlie Alpha 737, now known as LEGO Elon Musk. Today, we're going to be taking a LEGO model of the Falcon 9 and showing its different parts to give you an idea of what are all the little different things on the Falcon 9, such as what is that black thing that runs up the side of the Falcon 9? Well, we're about to find out with a LEGO model. Let's get started. <music> Let's start from the bottom. The main thing that you'll see here is the 9 Merlin 1D engines, and of course, the center engine is longer as I explained in another video. Uh, at sea level, these 9 Merlin 1D engines can produce about 7,607 kilonewtons of thrust, and in a vacuum can produce about 8,227 kilonewtons of thrust. Uh, and these, these, these engines actually use subcooled liquid oxygen and chilled RP-1. Each of these nine Merlin 1D engines can produce about 934 kilonewtons of thrust. Moving up, you can see these landing legs. The landing legs are arguably the most iconic thing about the Falcon 9, as they enable for SpaceX to be able to land their boosters on a drone ship or back on land. And most importantly, it allows them to reuse their boosters, basically cutting the cost by a lot. These landing legs deploy upon landing uh, after the landing burn has started, and they help soften the impact of the Falcon 9 booster onto the drone ship or onto the landing zone. As you may notice is this black pipeline. This black pipeline that runs up and down the side of the booster has electrical wires and other wires that support the operations of the booster. And moving up, we have LEGO grid fins. These grid fins deploy very slowly as they're made of titanium. This titanium prevents them from burning up in the atmosphere like the Block 4 grid fins did. These grid fins also are used like little wings as the atmosphere gets thicker and maneuver the booster down safely to the drone ship or the landing zone. In fact, these have such a strong influence on the path or movement of the booster that if one fails, it can basically make the whole thing spin out of control, as seen in CRS-16. Above the grid fence, we have a black interstage. The reason why the interstage is black is because it's protected by a thermal protection coating. This thermal protection coating limits the re-entry heating damage, meaning less refurbishment and faster turnaround time. And above the interstage, we have the second stage. The second stage measures about 41 feet tall, and it is the thing that carries the payload into orbit. The second stage also houses the Merlin vacuum engine. Above the second stage, we have the payload fairings. The payload fairings measure about the size of an entire school bus. And not only that, but they protect the payloads from aerodynamic stresses as they fly on a rocket. Just imagine, something the size of a school bus launching on top of a huge rocket. It's extremely mind-blowing. Not only that, but SpaceX is actually investing in making these payload fairings reusable as they are constantly testing their new ship, Mr. Stevens. I really hope that you guys like this video, and I really did enjoy making this video, and I really do like Legos. It's kind of the reason why I named my channel like Elon Musk, and I hope that I was able to take something that most people are familiar with and show them something new, or have them learn something new, and that's really what I want to do with this channel. Anyways, I'm Lego Elon Musk, I'll see you guys later, leave a like and subscribe for more, and I'm signing off.